Hi everybody, it's Neil Weichel with Remax, and it's almost April 1st and no April Fool's jokes today. Uh, just some really good, I hope, real estate information for you that maybe clear some things up because I'm always kind of surprised when I read all the stuff I read, whether it be online or maybe you hear something on the news about the real estate industry and you hear one thing and the truth is entirely different. It's, it's, it's not even correlated and it could cause you to come away with the wrong impression. And since I do this all day, every day, and you may only listen to it for two, three minutes at a time, let me give you some ideas that, that, that may clear up some of the things you're hearing that may sound scary. And I'm gonna start with the first one, recession. Okay, we're either in a recession or we're about to be in a recession. And when you hear that, your natural thought is, uh-oh, what's gonna happen to the real estate market? What's gonna happen to the value of my home? What's gonna happen to the value of my kid's home? Oh my gosh. Well, the truth is, is economic recession very often, and this is surprising, leads to stimulation of the real estate business. Now, why is that? Well, because when we have an economic recession, which is growth slowing, the only way that the government can speed things up is putting more money into the system. And they do that by lowering the interest rates. Lowering interest rates is what we're praying for in the real estate industry. And I'll explain why in a minute, but it really helps us have more transactions because people can afford homes. We've got a real problem. It's housing affordability. It isn't an economic recession in the real estate industry. Okay, so when you hear recession, don't be afraid, don't be nervous. It probably means a lower cost of money is coming to you hopefully, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is you're going to hear sales way off or number of transactions way down. And I alluded to this in the last video. This is absolutely happening, but it's not what you may think. Our transaction count this year is gonna be well below last year, which was well below the year before. And you may think, oh my gosh, way less transactions. There's a problem in real estate or prices are crashing or something like that. It's exactly the opposite. The reason we're having so few transactions, nobody knows where to move to. We don't have enough homes for sale. The real problem is a record low number of homes to choose from, otherwise we'd have all kinds of transactions. So the real problem, low number of transactions, but we have some ideas on how that might be solved in the next couple of years. Now, the third problem we have, and this is a real problem, and you're gonna hear about this more and more, especially those of us who have kids really feel this, first time buyer transactions at an all time low. Last year, only 26% were usually in the 30s for those poor first time buyers. We need first time buyers to stimulate the real estate business, and we don't have them, why? Because prices went up, and more importantly, interest rates went up. They couldn't afford the cost of housing. We're gonna do a separate video for first time buyers because there are some programs coming that are gonna help you with your down payment. We have programs in existence right now that help you get the interest rate down further. If rates come down a little bit more in the late summer and into the fall, we're gonna be in good shape. We really expect this to start to balance out. So when you hear all this negative stuff, cut through it and realize this is simply a function of a market in which prices are stable and probably gonna go up due to lack of inventory. If we can make homes a little bit more affordable to build, make them a little easier to build, we'd solve a lot of problems. Thank you.